Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow um, Acrylics. I hope you're all well. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Um, I'm really excited. I'm going to do another painting. Um, I did a really lovely um, straight pour just before Christmas and I loved it with golds and blues and pinks. Loved it. My favourite ever straight pour. Um, so on a roll with straight pours, I'm going to do another one, but this time different blues, turquoise, white, gold and silver. Um, so it's going to be um, a sort of slightly more neutral looking because I've taken out the pink, um, but I think that's okay. I do like my pink, but we're, we're going to go without it for this one. Um, I've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, let me show you the paints. So these are the paints. I've got three Montmartre colours. You can see the gold, the turquoise and the white. Um, I've got two Pebio Studio Acrylics colours, um, silver, um, and this one here, which is Prussian blue. Now, I've never used this before. Um, I bought this thinking it was Payne's Grey, but it's not. It's Prussian blue. But look at the amazing colour. It's a really beautiful, deep, sort of turquoisey colour. Uh, sorry, a deep sort of um, navy colour. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I think I might have um, stumbled upon that by accident, but... Um, really really happy with that um i've got two essentials royal and lang nickel colors i've got the um thalo cyanine blue and then i've got the cerulean blue um all of these paints have been mixed um 50 50 with my pouring medium um, and with the paint so i'll show you the consistency and the pouring medium um is two parts pva glue one part water that i've mixed up myself so you can see when it's drizzling, it's leaving a little trace for no more than a second, less than a second. Um, let's show you this one. So you can see the trace is there, but then it really quite quickly disappears. Um, now, the silver and the gold were thicker, so I had to water those down. The turquoise and the white were thinner, especially this turquoise. I've had to add actually quite a bit of extra paint because it just came out really, really thin. Um, so there's absolutely no silicon in this, um, so I'm hoping to get some cells, but they will just be generated by the, the interactions of the paint. No silicon is added. Um, great, let's get started. So this is the order I'm going to pour them in, into the cup. Um, I've put the white in between the two darkest colours um, because at the edges of the, these colours, when it's pouring out of the cup, it will blend a little bit with the white, so it will just give lighter versions. So I think that, that will work quite well. Um, I've tried to keep apart the turquoise and the gold this time because if they mix, I think they'll make a kind of brownie, not very nice colour. Um, and then I've yeah, split up the metallics as well. Um, yeah, so this is it. So to start layering up the cup, what I really, really like doing is putting a tiny, tiny bit of white. I've just got some extra white in this big cup. Um, so I'm just going to put a tiny bit of white right in the centre um, of the cup and then just start layering. I like white first and then gold because it often creates just such a lovely sort of sunset, sunrise um, appearance. Um, as I'm layering, I'm pouring the paint down the side of the cup um, and that's just so that they don't really mix the colours. Um, they shouldn't do because they're quite nice and thick, but just to try and keep them as separate as possible. So the first layer I'm doing, I'm doing quite small amounts of paint. Um, and that's because as this will be the um, last to come out of the cup, um, it will give the most detail right in the center of the painting. And then my next layer of colors, I will start doing slightly larger amounts, I think. So I'm expecting a good three or four layers out of this in this cup.
Right, here's my canvas. I've put giant push pins in the back of the canvas so I can easily get my hands underneath when I'm tilting. Um, I've just used a spirit level and I've checked all of the edges of the canvas to make sure they're all um, level, which they are. Um, so I'm ready to go. Um, I'm going to put a puddle of white in the centre. Um, this white is just fractionally thinner than the rest of the paint. So I'm just gonna start with a puddle um, and that's what I'm gonna pour the, the cup of paint onto. So the reason I do this is that as the, the paint comes out of the cup, it's going to, instead of pushing it the colors over themselves and spreading on the canvas, it's gonna push this white out. So it's this white in the center here that is, is what's going to slide. So hopefully it doesn't, oh, I've got a lump of paint there. So I'm hoping it doesn't, um, so it just helps the colours to flow out really smoothly and really evenly. Just burst the air bubbles with the blow torch. Right, so let's start pouring. Um, I'm going to pour from this edge here. So where the paints went into the cup, that's where the paints are gonna come back out of the cup. I'm gonna try and keep my hand um, as central as possible to this canvas. But what I am gonna do is twist my hand round and also go up and down with the pouring um, because I think that is what can give some quite nice effects. So, um, ah, wish me luck. Right, so a few first impressions. Um, I'm happy with the centre. I got that nice and neatly. Um, I'm not quite as keen at the moment on some of this colour and I'm wondering if that is where the silver um, is mixing in. Around the edge it looks fab, but where it's sort of muddied slightly, not quite so keen, but that might actually all stretch out nicely. So I'm going to just pour some more of this white around the edge So next thing to do is just do a really good torch. Right, and then I'm going to start tilting. So to start with, I don't want the paint to come off the edge of the canvas. I'm just going to try and tilt it and stretch it as much as I can, just so it covers as much of the canvas as possible. There's a lot of paint here.
Do you want to talk? Okay. No, you're not allowed to go isolating. You can't even let them open the door to you today. Are you bored? I know, but So this is such an interesting painting. I, at one point, or actually quite a few points, I really didn't think I was going to like it. Um, the colours seem to muddy very quickly. Um, there doesn't didn't seem to be the traditional design that you get with um, a straight pour. But actually, it doesn't matter. I think what I might have done is um, thinned my paint slightly too much. So it became very swimmy. Um, but actually, I think that gives some really lovely effects. Um, it's just, it's it's very interesting, not like a typical straight pour at all. Um, mu as I said, much more swimmy, much more floaty. Um, the colours just seem to blend much, um, much quicker. Um, but it's gorgeous. Um, if you like blues, this is definitely for you. Throughout the entire painting, you've got these little bits of gold lacing throughout the whole painting. So when that is dry, that's going to sparkle, that's just going to look gorgeous. Um, love the edges. I love how the, the design just pours over the edges. Um, and then I'll take you up to this top corner. There's just lots going on. So if you look closely, it's quite a busy painting. But actually, if you stand back, it's quite, I don't know, it's sort of quite relaxing, really. It's not my usual really bright, bold colours. Um, it's a bit more grown up somehow. <laughs> um, great. I'll be back when it's dry. And here it is dry. Um, I much prefer it now it's dry than when it was wet. Um, and I think the simple reason is that the darker blue has gone darker, so it's added more contrast. Um, if I take you in for a close-up, it's absolutely gorgeous, um, but subtle, subtly gorgeous. Um, can you just see all that amazing gold lacing? It's, it's subtle, but it's there throughout the whole painting. This just shimmer of gold throughout you, you can't see the shimmer unfortunately on the video but look it, it's just everywhere so when this is varnished um it is going to look gorgeous um 
even in the sort of slightly plainer sections, let me show you this section here, right in the center, actually the detail and that lacing is so, so pretty. Um, the turquoise kind of got a bit lost apart from that bit there in the center, but I think probably it's there, but it's just, it's just worked to um, lighten the whole piece. It's just gorgeous. Um, it's really quite um, subtle, quite grown up for my paintings because it lacks pink or, or any really bright contrasting colour. Um, but that's good. I'm, I'm trying different things. I want to try different colour schemes out my comfort zone a little bit. Um, so there it is. It To me, it really looks like water, um, quite turbulent water, a water pool rock pools, not, not really sure what, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, but something water related. Um, so there it is. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up um, if you like the video. Um, please leave any comments. Great. Take care, everybody. Bye.